Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm so glad you're here today taking time out of your day to spend time in prayer and worship together here virtually online. A um, couple of things I want to uh, remind you of that this is the first Sunday of the month and at St. John the Apostle MCC we have a tradition on the first Sunday of the month, actually two traditions. First one is that we receive uh, food for our food pantry which is open again uh, and uh, serving people so if you're able to uh, contribute some food or some funds uh, you can take it from there so the first Sunday of the month we do that and then we also receive an offering for the building fund now um, some of you may wonder what is the building fund used for well in the past uh, past recent history. I mean, we've had the church uh, power washed and painted outside. Uh, that's all part of the keeping up the building. And uh, we also had new carpet placed uh, in parts of the church to, to make it look nice and fresh. So those funds are extremely important. And if you're able to contribute, we'd appreciate it. Uh, I also uh, want to share uh, a thought that had come through my mind. I mean, this is very, very, very scary times in this world. I mean, we've had things going on with, with um, Afghanistan. We've had Hurricane Ida do devastation. We have wildfires out in California, and we have the pandemic, which has seemed to be taking off like wildfire, like the fires in California. Uh, they've taken off and, and are reaching a, a large number of people. The other week at church, during the prayer time, when Deacon Wanda was leading prayer, a um, thought came through my mind that you are my strength. God, you are my strength. And I took a great deep breath. And uh, in the church, when we gather together now, we all wear masks uh, to protect each other. So I took a great big deep breath and I said, even this mask can't stop the Spirit of God from coming into our hearts. So I just invite you all to take a deep breath and to remember that God is your strength. Amen. Our call to worship. Where are the teachers in our midst who will guide us as we learn? We follow Christ's example and learn from one another. Where are Jesus' disciples who thirst to know God's ways? We follow Christ's example and learn from one another. Our church is this sacred space and our classroom is the world. We follow Christ's example and learn from one another. Thanks be to God for new beginnings for new opportunities to learn together. We follow Christ's example and learn from one another. Amen.
welcome to our time of prayer. It's uh, been a while since I've had the opportunity to pray with you, and I look forward to this moment. As a reminder, this prayer is for all of us, and it's, it's a prayer that helps us to understand that we are connected. Even if we don't see each other frequently, we are connected. We're connected not only spiritually with each other, we're connected to God. So let's take this opportunity and go to our Lord in prayer. Holy Creator, we are so very grateful for this opportunity to, to come together as a family, to offer prayers to you. We know, Lord, that there are many prayers right now. There are many people who are hurting, who have lost loved ones to multiple diseases, including COVID-19. We know that there are many who are scared scared about their own health, scared about the health of their loved ones. And we know, Lord, that there are many, many who are asking for your guidance and your intervention into what is happening to our world. We ask, Lord, that you listen to these prayers. We know that you're going to answer them. We don't know how, and we don't know when, but we are convinced that they will be answered. And so, Lord, we ask that you continue to watch over us. We ask that you continue to guide us. We ask that you continue to show us the way that we need to go as we continue to offer prayers to you. Lord, right now in our hearts are many who are in need of your healing touch. So please, take a mo moment and listen to these names. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for hearing these names. We know that they are in your hands and that whatever may occur it is because of your will, and we accept that. We also, Lord, lift up those that have given us so much in their lives, those that have shown us love, those that have hugged us when we needed a hug, those that have helped us when we needed help, those that have guided us when we needed guidance. So please, Lord, as we give thanks for these people, hear the names. Thank you, Lord. So, Lord, we do offer all of our prayers to you. The prayers for those that are in need of your help. The prayers of those who we are so grateful you have put in our lives. Please listen to these prayers, Lord. Please keep us safe. Please show us the way. We know that without you, we will be lost. But with you, we will be found. And so we thank you. We thank you for all of the blessings you have bestowed upon us. And we give you all the honor and all the glory forever and ever. Amen. And amen. Our first reading for today is from James chapter 2, verses 1 to 5, New International Version. My brothers and sisters, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ must not show favoritism. Suppose a person comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor person in filthy old clothes also comes in. 
if you show special attention to the one wearing fine clothes and say, here, here's a good seat for you, but say to the poor person, you stand over there or sit on the floor by my feet. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my brothers and sisters, has God shown, has not God shown those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom promised to those who love God? Here ends the reading. everything well, they said. He 
even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Be open. Be open. Be open to command by Jesus to the deaf man that he has his ears open. But but maybe it's even a command to all of us that we be open. Now for this particular uh, story in the gospel, Jesus meets a deaf man. Um, and he heals him. He heals him in a very simple way. And it's a transformation. So you have to understand in, in, in our today's world where we got all these TV screens and, and all the printed press and, and all the, the uh, modern communication styles, smartphones and all that, that's not the world that we're talking about there. there we're talking about a very oral word, world, where it was very important that things were spoken and said and that you could hear. I mean, that's how people were taught. That's how uh, people were able to communicate with one another. Uh, most of them didn't read. People needed to be able to hear. So this person, this man, was um, not just deaf, he was cut off. He was cut off from the community in so many, so many ways. And Jesus healed him and opened him up. Opened him up to the possibilities of love and life. In our first reading, we are reminded that we need to be open to one another too. That is in each other, no matter, no matter what the person, no matter how high the rank. No matter how high the rank, we are needed by each other. I'm reminded of the story that's told of this small town where Judge was, small town Judge. And he was in, in church the one day, in church the one day. And another person in that, in that congregation of that day was a person who the judge had sentenced to jail. He served his time and was now out. And it came time for communion. And both the judge and the criminal went up and knelt before the altar to receive communion. And someone asked the judge, doesn't he feel strange being next to that person? And he said, no. No, we are both in need of God's grace. Rich, poor, powerful, weak, we all need God's grace with us. So remember to be open to each other, to be open to the word of God, to be open to the things that are happening around you. And do not fear, for as I said in the welcome, God is your strength. And we are more than overcomers. We are victorious when we follow Jesus. Amen. Our call for offering. Those who are generous are blessed, for they share their bread with the poor. Let us celebrate our blessings with generosity as we collect the offering for the work and worship of this congregation. Amen. You ask, how can I, while attending the virtual service, make a contribution or tithe to St. John the Apostle, MCC? It is really quite simple. You can write a check and mail it to the church, or you can go to the sjamcc.com website, click on the donate button, and make your contribution via PayPal. By the way, you don't need an account with PayPal to do this. Good morning, and welcome to the table of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, we say uh, each week we ask as we are doing a virtual church service if you've not prepared a, a wine or liquid product and a bread product or crackers or uh, pastry of some sort 
so that you would pause the video and go and prepare those items so that we could join together and share from the table of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we know, and we have said before, we say again today, St. John the Apostle MCC and all MCC churches around the globe celebrate an open communion. That means that you don't have to be a member of this church or any church to come to the table and share of the meal. Let us join together praying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Creator, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. The Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to our Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God because it is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation, you gave us breath and speech that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to give you praise. Holy, 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 Lord God, power of God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful are the works of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced a people of your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them, you raised up Jesus, our Savior, born of Mary, to be the living bread in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners and with a love stronger than death, opened his arms wide on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends, taking the bread he gave you thanks. And he broke it. And he said then, take, eat, for this is my body, which will be broken for you. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. At the end of the supper, he took the cup of wine, the common cup that sat at the table. Again, he gave you thanks and he said, drink of this, all of you, for this is the cup of the new covenant. My blood, which is shed for you and for many, for the gift forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink of it in remembrance of me. And so let us proclaim our faith together. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. God, we pray with confidence. Jesus' sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and his rising in glory. And we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. I invite you now from home to place your hands over the elements as we pray our blessing upon them. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts 
of your creation, that they may be for us the body and the blood of your dear Son. As we eat of this bread and drink of these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and hold, build us into the living temple of your glory. Amen. We say now, draw near with faith and receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you and the blood which he shed for you and eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died for us, that Christ may be in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. These are the gifts of God and we are the people of God. So I ask now that um, let us consume these elements together and share them with anyone who is also present with you. Afterwards, please consume any remaining elements. Would you pray with me, please? God of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in Jesus and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us your grace, and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. Who, we who drink from his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit gives light Give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope that you have set before us so that we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. And all the people say together, Amen. Oh, 
our benediction. Disciples of our Christian faith, go now in great expectancy, knowing that teachers can be found in every corner of creation. Go in peace. <laughs>